What's up, YouTube? It's Marie Melodies. Um, yeah, this is the second look that I'm going to do for you guys. Uh, it's uh, also from the Spring Collection that Mac just came out with. And I'm using uh, the pigments that are in Stack 2. I came to see. Maybe I could see it better in this light, but maybe not. But um, it's really, really pretty in person. Um, actually, what I have on my lid, well, half of my lid in my inner corner is the, uh, it's like a yellow gold. It's a very pretty, pretty, pretty uh, pigment. And it's the Crushed Metal Pigment Stack 2. It comes with uh, four coral-like colors. And so this is, the look I came up with for that and um, you know I just think when you're using cor uh, corals and you know warm tones uh, as that that you should really you know um, have beautiful skin like really really pay more attention to skin than anything so I have my studio fix on I have a very light coral uh, lip glass I forget the name of it and I just have stripped down my Mac on and so yeah um, you know just smoked out the corner of the eye uh, you know corals incorporated a lot of you know rich oranges probably can't tie my shirt like that but yeah so this is the look guys if you like stay tuned peace so first i'm just priming my eye with a, a paint by mag and i'm using a flat a lid brush and i'm gonna use a smaller uh concealer brush and I'm going to go in with the crush uh, metal pigment stack 2 and I'm using the yellow gold that's in that and I'm just going to pat that all over my lid like I said uh, in my first video these uh, pigments are so pretty they reflect light very well uh, just a beautiful accent to go with matte colors. Uh, then I'm going to go in with a small uh, Sonia Cashew smudger brush. And I'm going to go in and pick up a very light matte color for my inner crease. Uh, I'm going to go with a small... On your cashew brush and put on some more silk, and I'm gonna apply that uh, above, right above my lid, all the way up underneath my eyebrow. Gonna go right back in with that concealer brush, and then I'm gonna put the darker coral color that's in that stack and put that right on the side. Then I'm going to go in with a fluffy slanted crease brush by MAC and I'm going in with cork and I'm just going to put that in my crease and right above my crease. It's going to be a nice um, shading color so I can fade it out. Just going to darken that crease up just a little more with that color. Now I'm going to go in with that flat brush again and I'm taking Mekong by NARS. It's just that pretty brown that I used in an early video. So pretty y'all. Y'all should really pick up that color. A lot of NARS, their colors uh, have really good payoff, color payoff. And then I'm going to just slightly cut the crease with that again. Not too much. You don't want a very harsh line because it's going to be faded out again. 
I'm just going to bring that up and fade it out. And I took a shader brush and went in and faded those two colors together. Now I'm going to go in right into my brow bone. With that, I mean, you can use vanilla, you can use rice paper, but I'm using a matte lighter color. And in between that, I just really blended, blended. I didn't show all of that, but I just really blended those darker colors in with cork. You want to make sure that you really, really blend. Especially, you know, to soften the line. The next thing I did, I went ahead and applied my uh, liner underneath and on top. And then I uh, put my Studio Fix Fluid Foundation on, my powder. And now I'm going in with my highlight. And then I'm going to go in and do a little contouring. And what I'm going to use is my uh, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I'm using like the bronzer that was in the Warm and Cozy Collection. But you guys can use any type of bronzer or, you know, any type of blush that you guys like. You just want to warm up your cheeks because, again, you want to focus on your skin being really glowy and pretty for, you know, a coral look. Beautiful springtime look. Then I'm going to go on with the lip pencil and uh, strip down. I just want to do a very um, nude, pretty lip. And I'm going on top of that, and the color I'm using is Moonstone, which is a lip jelly by me. I love that color. Beautiful. It's so less sticky. I just really like it. So there you go. Deep up. Such a nut. Gotta fix my naps. <laughs> so yeah, you too. So yeah, you too. This is the finished product for uh, stack two, the corals and you no know, corals and gold. So um, I hope you like. Anywho, this is the look. Uh, so if you haven't already gone to my oh and check out those blush. Um, base. Is that how you pronounce it? I mean, it graduates in color. It's so, 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 so pretty. I didn't pick it up, so I didn't have it really to show you guys. However, this weekend I shall have it on, and I'll take pictures, and um, yeah, I'll come back at y'all with that. But yeah, I just wanted to do, you know, a few quick tutorials uh, regarding the spring collection. So excited. So, if you've already went and picked up those colors, uh, here are a couple of looks to do with them. If not, you know what I'm saying, go check back out, y'all. Y'all know what y'all missing. Um, yeah, so I also need requests. Requests, y'all, request anything, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you request, I'll be sure to jump on it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all asked me for a brow tutorial, and I did it within a couple of days. So, um, yeah. All right. Smooches. Mwah.